So in this question, we've got a non-uniform beam, CD, uh, with a mass of 10 kilograms and length of 8 meters. The beam supported at A and F, where CE is equal to 2 meters and DF is equal to 1.5 meters. The direction at E is twice the direction at F, so I've put in 2R and R. I could have put in R and a half R, but I've just gone for 2R and R. And it says find the distance of the center of mass of the beam from C. So we're trying to find the center of mass of this beam from this point here, C. Okay, uh, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find what R is first of all, okay? So it's gonna be a center of mass. Let's just put it here somewhere, okay? Uh, let's put it actually slightly closer to the beam where there's the higher, uh, the greater normal reaction, okay? And we know that the mass of the beam is equal to 10 kilograms. So let's put in here then the weight would be equal to 10 G or equals to 98 Newtons, okay? So let's find out what R is. So remember, we, we've got moments, but we've also got whenever the beam's in equilibrium, we've got the forces down equal the forces up. So the forces up would be 2R plus R, and the forces down R is equal to 98 Newtons. So that's 3R is equal to 98 Newtons. So that means that R would be equal to 98 divided by 3. So 98 divided by 3, which is equal to uh, 32 and two thirds Newtons. Okay, and that's R, so that means that this reaction here is equal to 32.6 recurring, or 36 and two thirds, and that this one, which is twice that, so times by two, uh, so 98 divided by three times by two is equal to 65 and a third Newtons. Okay, so we've got our normal reactions, or uh, our reaction uh, force, uh, magnitude of the reactions at A and F. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the position of the center of mass. So we don't know where the center of mass of the beam is. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take moments. Now you can take moments around um, any position on the beam at all, but you know the logical choices would be C, because we were asked to find the distance of the center of mass from C. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing in this question. I'm gonna be choosing C to take moments about. Um, you could choose E. Um, the benefit of doing the moments about E would be that you would only have to actually look at two moments because obviously if you do moments about E, you've got zero times this, um, zero is the distance times the force here, so that's zero. So you're just left with this, um, the weight of the beam, and then the reaction at F. So they would be the only two uh, moments you'd have to look at there, which would be good. The only thing is you'd need to remember that whenever you're doing the question, you would be finding the distance of this uh, center of mass from E, so to add on the two meters to get the distance from C, which the question is asked for. Um, you could take, you wouldn't want to take the moments about the center of mass because obviously we're trying to find the position of that one. Uh, you could take moments about F and similar approach. That means that this, uh, you could ignore this moment here. So you're left with this one and this one. And again, you would probably label the distance to the center of mass of the beam as X and you would find that, but just remember that you would, you're you asked to find in this question the distance from C. So you would need to figure out what that would be. Uh, or you could even take it from the end, the end of the beam. Okay, so let's take moments about C. So taking, taking moments about point C. Okay, so remember clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. So let's see what moments we've got here. So this one's going to be, so the one at E, the reaction, is going to be an anti-clockwise moment. The weight of the beam, well, it's going to be a clockwise moment. And the reaction at F, well, again, that's going to be an anti-clockwise moment. So the clockwise moments, and actually, before we get started, let's put in our distance that we're trying to find. That's what we've been asked for in the question. The distance of this weight of the beam, the center of mass of the beam, from the end of its C. Okay, so... Uh, clockwise moments, well the distance x times by the force, or the weight, 98, equals um, anti-clockwise moments, well that's going to be, um, so the distance from C, E, that's 2, so 2 times by 65 and a third, plus um, the distance from C all the way over to F, this reaction here, so this is the over anti, uh, the over anti-clockwise moment, um, so that's going to be um, so the whole beam is 8, we know it's 1.5 from the rent, so that's going to be 6.5. So 6.5 times by 32 and 2 thirds. Okay, so we'll work out what this is. So that's 98x equals, 
Well, 65 and a third times by two is equal to uh, 130 and two thirds plus um, 6.5 times by 32 and two thirds gives us uh, 212 and a third. And whenever we work this out, we're gonna get 98 X equals two. Uh, 130 and two thirds plus 112 and one third and that gives us 343 newtons and then we just divide by 98 so that means x equals 343 divided by 98 is equal to 3.5 meters. So that means that the distance from C to the center of mass of the beam is equal to 3.5 meters. Um, so yeah, and that's it. So that was what we were asked to work out. And so that would be considering the beam is 8 meters long, so the center is 4, so it's 50 centimeters to the left of the center, but we were asked to remember to find the distance from the end, so 3.5 meters. And that's it.